Same thing, same setup, right? I go here, pull this in, I get the arm bar. Now this time, I'm gonna skip the rebar tilt. Because say it's late in the match, I get this arm bar, but I need the pin, and I need it fast. So, we can't just run this, because if this guy knows all he's gotta do is not get pinned, he's gonna be doing everything he can to prevent me from being able to run this bar, so he's gonna keep a good pace. But, what a lot of guys do when they do this, is if I come out to the side here, I can get a bar and a half. Now, remember how I showed you when we ran that bar, we scooped that wrist out, put it where? In our pocket. In our pocket. So I put that in my pocket right here. Now, I can run a bar and a half, and I'm not going to get chicken winged by my bar. So I bring this hand underneath, and I get monster half, right? Always monster half because we want good torque. Now, all I gotta do is walk towards his head. So I take one big knee towards his head, punch the head, and drop him. <laughs> right here, it's a very easy stack. And it's very hard for him to get off his back. So, all right, Sam? Pat, someone's phone's going off. I don't hear anything. I hear something. Well, I hear vibration. I hear vibration. Guys, quiet! So again, running forward. Put my shin on it, pull that wrist in. I want the rebar, but I realize I don't have time. Jump out to the side. And the way I clear this wrist, because he knows I'm reaching for this rebar, right? I'm here trying to get it. What's he doing? He gets his hand away from me. Where did he put it? In your pocket. In my pocket. So now I walk my hand up his back, palm on his back. Hand comes underneath. Exactly. Monster hand. Now I take a big step towards his head, put my knee down, punch the head. Right here, smile through the camera. This kid's pissed. 